Hi, I'm Stephanie Yi from Math with Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to use the computational layer for multiple choice in Desmos. Let's get started. So I'm in my computation layer example, and to edit this activity, I'm going to right click. I'm just going to click those three dots on the top corner, click edit activity. Once I'm in this activity, I can see all the slides that are included in this slide deck. So today we're going to focus just on the multiple choice set. In the multiple choice set, I usually use these questions for things that I can easily assess with students. And you can see that there's the problem. There's also the question answers that students can choose from. And then there's also an unlabeled note here. In the top right corner, you have that embed with the care and slash. That's where all the code in your Desmos will go. If you want to use multiple choice in your activity, you can just copy and paste this code over. However, if you would also like to just be able to use this exact slide, what you can do is go back to that original slide deck I had shown you, this computation layer example, and you can just click this copy button on the really top and paste it into your existing slide deck. So that way you don't have to go back and forth copying and pasting the code. But let's dissect this code a little bit. In multiple choice, you want to make sure that you have labeled your multiple choice the answer section. You can name it anything you want. Um, I have named it MC2 for multiple choice two. This doesn't have to be changed for every slide. So if you are copying and pasting slides and you don't want to change the name because it's kind of a hassle, you don't have to. Um, this code does use the MC2 to call this function, that multiple choice answer choice. Um, but it's not going back and forth between slides, if that makes sense. Um, so right here, it just says MC2 submitted when the student clicks submit. And the first, this one says three is selected. That means they select the C option. It'll show up as correct. If they submit it, they select one. The A option, it'll show up as incorrect in the note. Submit, select two. The B option is also incorrect. Submit, select four. The D option would also be incorrect. So the biggest piece to keep in mind if you are using this multiple choice is that you are going through and changing what the correct answer is. And so just make sure you're changing it so that way when students are actually going through this practice set, they're getting the accurate feedback. On the student's end, this is what it'll look like. If they click the incorrect answer, they submit it, they'll get an incorrect try again. On the teacher end right here is what you'll see on the teacher dashboard. If students select this A, that first answer choice, it'll show up as an X on your end. If they go back, they realize, oh, I made a mistake. My answer is actually 10. Um, it'll show up as correct. And then on the teacher dashboard, you'll see the check mark show up. And so the teacher dashboard is just a really great way for you to quickly see where your students are. Hope that was helpful. Bye.